what is up y'all i would come see i had an idea i was like yo let me spray but that's so extra that's so extra is what because a spray with lysol but first of all i'm even this corona thing ain't even that deep it's not that deep i mean people are getting it but i mean it's you ain't gonna die unless if you already have like a lot of complications going on with yourself and you're elderly or if you're infant, infant okay then okay yeah um you can possibly die but if you're all healthy already if you're good just just stay quarantined you know until we get a treatment jesus oh jesus you've been oh jesus it's scary because what if i become a carrier honey in this thing and I just give it to someone because I could just pass it to somebody who's close to me who is kind of sickly and they'll just die sooner or later from from the movie or something. That's really sad. That's really sad. But uh, yeah, this coronavirus thing, I need everybody to just calm down. We don't need all, I don't know why people are getting so much toilet paper. I don't even know how much toilet paper I have left in my house because, and I need to get it together because know how much toilet paper and i know i do not want to wipe my butt with some newspaper or whatever because i like i like toilet paper the most i'll do we don't even have kleenex tissues if we had kleenex tissues i would do that like what y'all if y'all out here really taking a whole bunch of tissue paper like to do what like resell it yo if y'all you're reselling that you're evil as, as well as the baby formula. If you're doing that, taking a whole bunch of baby formula and reselling it on Amazon, you're evil. Same goes with the hand sanitizer, the soaps, the food, like what else? Water. You're evil. Because you're you're taking advantage of people fear people's fears. That's that's evil. Anyways. But yeah, besides that, see the coronavirus is not to be there's nothing to be afraid of with the coronavirus, I feel like really afraid of. I think it's the how are people reacting. Like people like that who are taking advantage of other people's fears and vulnerabilities, that's evil. Like those are the people I'm afraid of. Those people who wanna fight for a can of soup or something at the at stop and shop, those are the people I'm afraid of. Like seriously. Honey, I was afraid for my mama today. She, she went out. She got some things. Afterwards, I was like, oh, man, I should have went with her. This thing, but I thought of that idea last week. We actually planned on going out together to get things. Um, oh, yeah, she did do that last week. Yeah, but she wanted to go again today. I mean, I wasn't dressed yet. I ain't shower yet, so I ain't. And I was editing, so I didn't feel like leaving the house, but she said she's done shopping now like she's done like hopefully we have everything we need hopefully we have enough toilet paper oh, jesus so yeah hopefully we have enough toilet paper because <laughs> i know i feel like we be going through the toilet paper kind of fast so excuse me i really hope this thing blows over because i'm trying to i'm trying to enjoy my vacation this this summer i'm trying to go to miami I mean, it looks like now's the best time to go to Miami high key, but I want to get these videos out. So, but yeah, it, right now is, is a good time to go to Miami. Like the prices are like $30 right now. Shoot. Please y'all. Can y'all stay safe? Can y'all just cool it down? Please, like, please cool it down. Just cool. Them. Bring it down 20 notches because a lot of y'all are going crazy. Like y'all need to calm down. Read the Bible. Go meditate. If you don't read the Bible, don't believe in God. I mean, it would be best if you did believe in God. But if you don't, go meditate or something. Like, seriously meditate. Okay? Get the Calm app. Yes, the Calm app. Use it. Do something. Because y'all are doing too much. It's crazy. Okay? Like, y'all need to calm down. Okay? Dear Lord, Father God, Heavenly Father. Please, Lord, let these people calm down. Because I can't. Y'all are doing too much. Even social media. The media is, like, blowing it up out of proportion, too. But the Idris Elba did get it, though. Once Idris Elba got it today, I was like, wait. Once I heard that, I was like, wait. Things are getting real, real. But you can get it. But you could not die. I mean, I don't think Idris Elba is going to die from it. I mean. And besides, like, Idris Elba in that athlete they talked about how they had it like how they have it and they're like oh they feel so fine they feel amazing and it's like that's what i'm saying like i knew that was gonna happen even be, even before they opened their mouths about that like i knew that was gonna happen like the coronavirus is not that deep in itself it's just that if it depends on your medical condition already like 
if you've already gone through a few strokes, if you've had, if you're a diabetic, like a severe diabetic, if you have heart problems, yeah, that coronavirus is gonna like magnify everything, and you'll probably die, you'll probably burst. Like, come on now. But if you're already healthy, you'll be fine. You'll get like, okay, you'll probably get like a cold or get sick for like a week, but I think you'll be fine. Yep, no, not I think, but you'll be fine after that. Like, just breathe, just breathe. <sighs> and the stock market crashed. I should have bought more stocks last week, but whatever. Hopefully, I, maybe I can do something this week. We'll see. But yeah, I just want anybody to calm down. I just want all y'all to In Jesus' name, amen. That's what I'm going to say. Thank you for this PSA.